The projects are as diverse as the students making them. On May 28th, 39 students from Baltimore City Elementary Schools descended on Johns Hopkins for their 2015 science fair. It's important because it allows the students to um, understand everything that they need to understand to get a jump start in science. From parachutes to action figures, students use their creativity to make discoveries in the world of science. The judges listen closely to each student's unique perspective. You, see, you can see here that there's mostly red, and red is kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is very, pop very popular because we use it every day. Projects ranged from the study of energy to the effects of food on the human body. The project's about um, like, um, the effect of spicy or minty food on the, on the temperature of your mouth. Well, the hardest part for me was kind of the onion because it made my throat dry. It's a sense of accomplishment, achievement, um, achievement for the kids, knowing that they've worked on a project for six long months and now it's coming to the end and it's going to be judged. These fifth and sixth graders will receive participation trophies and the top three projects earn prizes for their schools, but the real reward is what lies ahead. So they're excited, I'm excited for them, you know, knowing that this may be the catalyst for the next Nobel Prize winner. Another sign that when Johns Hopkins teams up with Baltimore's youth, the sky is the limit.